This means that he will be held in Moscow's Lefortova prison until at least August 30th. It's really difficult to say what might happen next. His pre-trial detention could last for as long as 12 months under Russian law. Uh, typically, cases like this are extended time and time again. The prosecutors and investigators have really wide latitude to request an extension of a pre-trial detention. So this means that it could take several months for Evan Gershkovich's uh, case to come to trial. They appeared to be talking, he gestured a lot. He also seemed to be in, in good spirits, uh, given the circumstances, it's difficult to tell, but he was smiling at times, and certainly there was an exchange of smiles between Evan Gershkovich and his parents. Despite Russian officials' public assertions about Evan's activities, let me reiterate the U.S. government's firm position. The charges against him are baseless. He is an innocent journalist who was carrying out journalistic activities and has been wrongfully detained. Such hostage diplomacy is unacceptable and we call on the Russian Federation to release him as well as Paul Whelan, another U.S. citizen who has been wrongfully detained and we call for that release to occur immediately. It very much depends on the case when consular access is granted, but under the law, consular access should be granted uh, to representatives of an individual from any country so that they can see officials from, from their particular nation.